to look at the pictures. I want to talk about what is going on in the pictures, and I want you to tell me about it. Can I ask you first? What time do you go to bed at night? Let me ask Lisa. What time do you go to bed? One o'clock in the morning? Very late. Your mom is okay if you go to one o'clock? What do you do at one o'clock? Do you watch TV? Do you play games? Do you talk on the phone to your friends? <laughs> cacao? You're on cacao talk all the time? I'm not on the phone. Oh, what do you do? <laughs> really, what do you do late at night? Lie in the bed. You lie in the bed? Do you read a book? Okay. How about Duke? What do you do? What time do you go to bed, Duke? 12 o'clock? Uh, same time for me, I think. I go to bed at 12 o'clock. Duke, what do you do at 11 o'clock and 10 o'clock? Watch TV and TV. What do you like to watch on TV? Comedy? Drama? Oh, uh, good. Um, John, what do you do? What time do you go to bed? Go to bed at 12 o'clock. Go to bed at 12 o'clock. What do you do at night? Do you get to have fun at night or do you have to do homework all night? Homework. Homework all night? Really? Do you get to watch TV or have fun at night? Yeah. Good. Good. What do you think about Peter? Look at the picture. Do you think that Peter looks happy or not happy? Not happy. Not happy. Why? Why do you think he's not happy? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I taught the last class this. This is a funny word you should know. It's called D R O O L. Drool. Drool. In English, we call this drool. Yeah, it's when you're sleeping so good that you don't think about it, right? Mm, Brian, what, what do you think when you look at the picture? You see that it says, what does it say? What word does it say? What word do you see? His mom calls Peter. Good, I like that. His mom calls the name Peter out. When you look at the way that it says Peter, do you think the mom is happy or angry? Angry. How do you know? Angry. It's very big. Also, do you know what this is? <laughs> In English, there are only really three ways to end a sentence in English. The first one is question mark. Question mark says that it's a question. What are you doing? Where are you going? How can I help you? Can I borrow some food? What's this one? <laughs> period. It's called a period in Korean. Yeah, I know. It's called jump. We call it period. Question mark, period. And the last one is exclamation mark. Okay? Exclamation mark is only for words that somebody is yelling. Like if you say, wow, look at that fish. Okay? Wow. Exclamation mark. It shows the way the person is speaking. So let me ask, um, let me ask one of the girls, um, Lisa, how do you think it sounds? Pretend like you are Peter's mom. How does it sound? Very loud. Do it for me. Peter. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Say it like just like his mom says it. Can someone try it? I'll do it. Ready? Yeah. Ready? This is what I think it sounds like. <clears throat> I'm not a girl voice, so I sound like a man. So ready? I'll try to do a girl. <laughs> Peter. You think it sounds like that? You think it's good? Probably close, right? Do you think do you think it sounds like do you think it sounds like Peter? No. It's not loud enough, right? It's not loud enough. She yelled. Even though we see that Peter is sleepy, he's sleepy. Do you think Peter is always sleepy? Or sometimes is Peter very happy? What do you think? Peter, sometimes, when he's not sleepy, do you think he's sometimes very happy? What do you think? <laughs> Come on, Brian. What do you think? Do you think sometimes Peter is very, very happy? No. No? You think he's always sad? 
Really? What do you think, Duke? Look at the picture. What do you see? Do you think Peter is sometimes very happy? No. Me too, Duke. I think Duke is right. Duke, what do you think Peter loves? There's something that I think Peter loves more than anything in the world. Of course, he loves his mom when she's not angry. Of course, he loves his dad. But there's one thing that I think Peter loves. What is it? Good. Thank you. High five. Excellent. He loves his dog. Look at how happy he looks. Look, here he's so sad. But how does he look here? It is him. Yeah, it's Peter. <laughs> <laughs> look at his, look at his hair. Look at his hair. No. You don't think it's no. Peter? It might not be. It might not be. But I think that it's his dog and that he loves his dog. Okay? Let's take a look at the next picture. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, we have to write this out, okay? Um, I'm going to erase drool. What is drool again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's when you have spit coming down. When you're sleeping, when you're very, very happy. I want us to make, before we look at the book, I want us to make two sentences about this that aren't from the book. New sentences. Different sentences. I know what it says in the book. It says, I'm in my comfortable bed. I hear my mom. I wake up. What does suddenly mean? Mm, you're right. No, she just did it. That was really, that was really, really good. Emily, I said suddenly, she didn't say what she wanted. <laughs> Quickly, fast, wake up suddenly. When you're afraid, you do things suddenly. If someone jumps out at you and goes, boo, suddenly you jump back, okay? What does it mean? I sleep in my what bed? What kind of bed? Comfortable bed. Can I ask you something? Is your bed at home? Is it comfortable? Yes. In the winter time, what does your bed feel like when it's cold outside? Warm, soft. What else? Sheep. Yeah, inside the blanket is from sheep, so that it's very, very warm. Yeah, we call it down. You know what? I want to. I want um. Somebody to make up a new sentence about this picture. And I'm going to ask John. John, ready? I want you to make a sentence about this picture. A full sentence, a long sentence. Okay? What words should we use? I think hear and say, the first ones. How can you make a sentence, John, using the word hear or the word say? Let's use the word hear. What does he hear? Make a full sentence, a long sentence now. Peter? Peter hears his mom. Good. Peter hears his mom. Good. Excellent. Ready? Next picture. Peter hears his mom. Oh my gosh, what do you think? What do you think about Peter? No eyes. No eyes. <laughs> He closed his eyes. He closed his eyes. But now we can see who? Who else is in here? Mom. Yeah, we can see his mom. And then what is Peter doing here? Yeah, why does it say Z, Z, Z? He's sleeping. Good, he's sleeping. What, what do, we talked about drool. Do you know what it's called when people make noise when they're sleeping? What, what sound? Snoring. Yes. Good, 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 good. Snoring. What does snoring sound like? What does it sound like? No, really, what does it sound like? Perfect, perfect. Oh, Brian, you're really good at that. Brian, do you snore when you sleep? No. Yeah, me neither. Do you snore when you sleep? No. Does your daddy snore when he sleeps? Yes. Sometimes? Yeah, so you can hear it. Does your mommy get very angry when she's snoring? Oh, I have to sleep like this. Oh, someone's snoring. Good. He's snoring. In, in Korea, do you write Z, 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 Z for snoring? The letter Z? You know what is so funny to me is that in Korea, you use those sound K, 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 for laughing. Right? When someone's laughing, you write K, 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 K. But in English, what do we write? How do we use letters to show what people are doing? What do we write in uh, English for laughing? Yeah? No? We write... Ha ha. We write H A H A H A. Ha 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 ha. That's what laughing sounds like to us. But 
it's funny to look at how letters make a sound to show you what someone is doing. No mm-hmm. no <laughs> but still drool, right? No mouse. Still drool. Let's make a sentence. No. Emily, it's your turn. What word from our vocabulary list? What word do you think use, we can use for this picture? We used here for the last one. Peter hears his mom. We could use say or beg or sit up or yell or turn off or wake up. Peter hears his mom. What does she say? She says wake up. Good. Excellent. You know what you can say? You can take say out because she doesn't say it. What does she do? She yells. Good. She yells. Wake up. Good. She yells. Wake up. What did I use at the end when I said wake up? What's this? What's right here? Do you know? What's that? It's called exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. And it means that someone is yelling. Just like when you look at snoring, Z, 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 you know it means snoring. Whenever you see an exclamation mark, you know that it means someone is yelling. Okay? Good. What's happening now? <laughs> What's happening now? Use your vocabularies. We've already used hear, say, yell, wake up. What does she do? Look at, look at her hand. What? She opened the window. Good. She opened the window. What does this mean right here? What do you mean? Yeah. Good job. She opened the window. Why did she open the window? Why did she open the window? Good. Clean. Not cleaning. She's angry. She's not cleaning. What happens when you open the window? She chilly. Good. Right. The cold air comes in. When you go to sleep at night, when you go to sleep, is it light in your room? Do you turn your lights on or do you turn the light off? Turn the light off. Maybe like small light you keep on. Tiny light. Just so if you have to wake up. You can see. When you wake up in the morning, though, does it feel good to have lots of light? Yeah, yeah it feels bad for your eyes, right? She goes, wake up. She opens the window, and it gets cold. Let's use our... I'm going to call on... Mm-hmm. Where did it go? Brian, it's back to you. Brian, can you use one of our words now? We already used wake up. Peter hears his mom. She yells, wake up. What is she doing to him in this picture? She yells at him, wake up. Good. We already said that, though. In this one, she's yelling, wake up, but she's doing more than that, too. What is she doing physically to him? What's she touching him? She opens the window. Good. She opens the window, and she does one more thing. Someone help him. She opens the window, and she? She shakes Peter. Good. She opens the window, and she shakes Peter. Good. She opens the window. And shakes him. Oh, I ran out of room. And shakes him, shakes Peter. Good. Okay? Mm, so these are the order that things are happening. Number one, his mom comes in the room. Number two, Peter hears his mom. Number three, she yells, wake up. Number four, she opens the window and shakes Peter. Right? What do you think? What do you think is happening in this picture? He opened his eyes? He only opened one eye. He only opened one eye. He's still drooling. Okay? But I want us to use another one of our words now. He said, Mom, please. He says, Mom, please. What does this mean? What is he doing when he says this? It's one of our vocabulary words. Good. Excellent. Can you make a sentence with it? Can you make a full sentence? Peter begs his mother for what? Mom, Good. You can say that. Peter begs his mom, his mom, Mom, please. But what is he asking for? When he says, Mom, please, is he saying, Mom, please give me a cheeseburger? <laughs> no. Mom. Is he saying, Mom, please bring me a cup of coffee? <laughs> what does he want from her? What does he want? Sleep. He wants more sleep. He wants her to go away. Good. 
He begs her. What does it mean, beg? Beg? I like that. I like what you do. I like this. <laughs> like this. What does it mean to beg? Beg can be actually a bad word. Not bad, bad word, but it's not a nice word. We usually say that animals beg. Who has a dog? Does anyone have a dog? <laughs> Pet dog. Pet dog. A dog. <laughs> No? You have a dog? No. no? Do you have a dog too? <coughs> did you ever did you ever eat food next to a dog? Did you ever play with a dog when you were eating dinner? No. Really? What does a dog do when people are eating food? <laughs> Dogs beg. They will sit at the bottom of the table because they want you to give them food. Dogs love people food. If I'm eating a hot dog, a dog will follow me. Please give me a hot dog. Okay? Dogs are always hungry. But when you say that someone begs, it makes it sound almost like Peter's an animal, like he's a dog begging for his mom to go away. Okay? I like it. I really like how you did that. That was very, very funny. Okay? Um, next one. What happens? <laughs> What happens here? He has no eyes. No eyes. He froze. He has no eyes here, but that's not the important thing. I have, what, what color is he? He froze. He's frozen. He's, he's very, very cold, right? On the hot. On the hot. What can you see coming in here? What does this mean? Wind. Yeah, the wind is coming in. Why is he cold? Of course, the, because the window's open, but what else did she do? Mom, mom, mom made the blanket. Good, she pulled the blanket off of Right? When you're sleeping in the winter, is your blanket very comfortable? Yeah. Is it big and warm? No. Good, good, excellent. Look at his blanket. What do you see on the blanket? Space. Yeah. Do you think that Peter likes space? No. Do you think maybe his mom just bought it for him? She yeah. does. Maybe his mom bought it for him. I think he likes it. What does what does this mean? Cold. Yeah, when you're cold, what do you do? Cold. <laughs> it's actually one of our words. Shake. shake. We have the word shake. You can shake a person like this. It's not okay? It's not people. But also when you're cold, we say that you shake. You're moving back and forth. What does this mean? What's he doing now? I want to make a sentence with this. Rolling. Rolling what? He's the body. <laughs> no. What does he do? He's in his bed and he rolls. Chili. Nope. He rolls over. Look at good. Thank you. He rolls over in his bed. He rolls over in his bed. Why does he roll over? Because he's cold. Because he's cold. Can I ask you something? When you sleep at night, do you sleep on your back? Yes. Do you sleep on your stomach? No. Do you sleep on your side? No. No. I... Do you sleep standing up? <laughs> like a horse? Of course, you sleep standing up. They yeah. cannot lie down. Yeah. You sleep on your back? No. On your side. Oh, on your side? Good. When you sleep at night, how many pillows do you have? One pillow? Two pillows? One. Just one pillow? Oh, no, I two. Two pillows? Three. Legs. And head? You put one under your legs? Yeah. <laughs> when I sleep, I sleep with three pillows. I put one under my leg, too, and then I put... One under my head, and then sometimes I put one over my head. <laughs> because it's too light, so I, I don't want to. Also, I have two cats. I have two cats, and at night they will try to come and sit on my face because they want to play. Cats don't sleep at night. Good, let's make a sentence. I want for John. I'm going to call on you again, John. Are you ready? John, make a sentence. I want you to make a full sentence using roll over and open. You have to say two things. Two things the mother... Oh, no, I'm sorry. We already said she opens the window. I want you to use roll over, and I want you to tell me... Just roll over. What do you think? Make a sentence with roll over. He rolls over in the middle. Good. He rolls over on the bed, or in the bed. In the bed. He's in the bed, okay? Good. He rolls over in the bed. Good. What do you think the mom feels right now? Do you think she's happy or still angry? What did you say? 
You think she's happy? Why is she happy? I think you're right, dude. Why is she happy? Why is the mother happy now? She doesn't, she's not smiling, she has no mouth here. But why do you, what do you think is making her happy? I think Duke is right. I think Duke is right that she's happy. She's happy because she can see. She can see that he's cold. She wants him to be cold. Why does she want him to be cold? Speak English. English, please. To wake him up. To wake him up. Excellent. Good. Only two more. Okay? <laughs> what is he doing now? Can you use one of our words? Yawn. Good. Yawn. Duke is yawning right now. You want to leave this one? When you see someone yawn, you want to yawn. Do you yawn in the morning? No. Duke says yes. Do you yawn in the morning? Yes. Mm. How about you? Do you yawn in the morning? Yes. Mm. What do you think? Actually, I'm going to ask uh, Emily or Lisa. Can you make a sentence together? Make a sentence. Use our vocab word, please. Make a longer sentence. What does, else does he do? He yawns and he does one more thing. Good, excellent. Before he was like this, and now he's like this, and he's putting his arms up. He does two things. Two things. First is he yawns. The second is he sits up. So make a full sentence. Peter yawns and in the bed. Good job. Whenever we talk about beds, we say in bed. Don't know why. We don't say on the bed. Even though the book is on the desk, when you're in bed, we say you're in bed because you're on the bed, but then the blanket goes over you, so you're in the bed. Good. Peter yawns and sits up in the bed. Okay? One last picture, and then we're going to try to do this together. We're actually, some of you are going to be the mother, and some of you will be Peter. Oh my gosh. Last one is the funniest one. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? She became, she became a devil. She became a devil. What, what, do you know what these are called? <laughs> what are they? Yeah, they're called horns. You know what? I will let you say one Korean word. I'm interested to know. In Korean, what do you call this? Ah, interesting. What kind of animal has horns? Cow. Cow? Actually, not a cow. Cow is only a girl. Unicorn. No, what's a boy cow? A unicorn. <laughs> unicorn has one horn? Yeah, but unicorns are not real. Actually, you should know this. A cow, it always means a girl. Just like a hen is always a girl chicken. A boy chicken is a rooster. Chicken? Chicken. Chickens have two names. Chicken, a girl chicken is called a hen. A hen is always a girl chicken. They lay eggs. Roosters are boy chickens, and hens, they're fat, and they're one color, but a rooster is not fat, and he's very scary. He has red, and orange, and blue, and they like to fight. <sighs> what about a cow? A cow is always a girl. What's a boy cow called? A bull. A bull. B-U-L-L. -L. She looks like a bull. In fact, whenever we make pictures of bull, we usually put this coming out of their ears because how does she feel now? Very angry. Why? Why is she angry? He's, he's sleeping again. Yeah, he went to sleep again. He fell back asleep. Okay? How do you think he fell back asleep? Do you think he's still cold now? No. Why not? She still has a blanket. The window is open. What do you think? He's too sleepy. He's too sleepy. He fell back asleep again. What? He was blue before. He was a blue color. What color is Peter's mom now? Red. Red. What does it mean, red? Angry. It means angry, but also hot. blue color means... Hot. Yeah, you're right. It means hot. hot. We think that hot and angry are kind of same thing together. Okay? Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So, I want you to close your book up. I want you to close your book, and I want you now to tell me what happens. I want us to think back and tell the story together, okay? Well, I want you to say what happens first, what happens second, what happens third, what happens fourth, what happens next. 
and what happens last. What is the very, very first thing that we saw in the story? Peter, 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 Vocabulary word. Peter hears his mom. His mom. Oh. Good, that's the first thing. What happens next? He hears his mom. What does he do next? Does he wake up? Oh, he does wake up actually. He opens his eyes for the first time. Okay? What does the mother do next? Does she yell? Does she come in? What does he what happens next? Good, excellent. She comes into the room and she says one thing. Wake up. Good. His mom comes into the room. And says, what does she say, John? John, what does she say? Hmm? What does his mom say? His mom comes into the room and says? Good. Whenever you... Say something that someone said, we use quotation marks. What happens next? Number three, she comes into the room, she yells, wake up. She opens the window. She opens the window and she? Shakes him. Good, she opens the window and shakes him. Okay. Only, I think, two more left. Number four, what happens next? First, Peter hears his mom. His mom comes into the room and says, wake up. She opens the window and shakes Peter. Number four. She pulls up his blanket. No, nope, something happens first. Oh, she begs her. Good, excellent. Peter begs his mom. Remember we talked about this. She begs his mom for what? She said, mom, please, but what is he asking her for? More, more time? Sleep. Yeah. He begs his mom for more time to sleep. And we'll do one more, and that'll be it, because we're going to try to do this together. I'm going to be Peter's mom. You're going to be Peter. Last one. She pulls off the... Someone to come up and help me. He's going to come up and help me. How about Brian? Brian, come on, Brian. I'm not going to hurt you. Brian, you want to be Peter or Peter's mom? You want to be sleeping or Peter's mom? Which one do you want to be? Okay. So Brian, what does Brian have to do if he is going to be Peter? Let's look at this. He has to hear me. I'm going to be his mom. So you have to actually wake up, open your eyes, and listen. Okay? Then I'll come into the room and say, wake up. Okay? What else does Peter do? What's the last thing that Peter does? His mom does this. She opens the window. She shakes Peter. Peter has to say... Good. Okay? Are you ready? I'm going to come in. So you can just lay down like this. Pretend like you're sleeping. Okay? Here we go. Sleep. Ready? I'm going to be outside and I'm going to go, um... Oh, it's, I said Peter, right? Peter! <laughs> okay, good. So he, he, he hears his mom. Peter, wake up! <laughs> Opens the window. What else does she do? What do I do next? Shake, shake. Ah. Peter! <laughs> Peter! Peter! Oh, now Peter has to wake up and Peter has to say... Mom, please. Mom. Say it like you mean it. You don't say mom, please. <laughs> How do you say it? How do you say it? Mom, mom please. Oh, yeah, here, Eddie, I'll do it. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Mom, please. <laughs> right? I want you to say it like that. Ready? Go, mom, please. Ready? I'm going to do it again. Ready? Peter! Peter! <laughs> okay, then the last thing I'm going to do is I pull off the... Blanket. Yeah. <laughs> and then, 
Peter, you have to shake like this. Okay, Peter. Good job. High five. Now, Peter, wait. You have to go be mom. I, have to I get to be Peter now. I get to be Peter now. Right? Mom, please. please. And then 
and last thing you do. Good. Excellent. Everyone, give, give them a hand. Give them a hand. I'm sorry, girls. Come on. 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 I will let you not come up here and do it, but you have to say the words. What's the first thing that Peter's mom says? Peter. Peter. Yell it. Yell it. How does she say it? Peter. Oh, she doesn't say Peter. Peter. What does she say? Peter. Louder. Peter. 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 Louder. Everyone together. Peter. Peter. Good. The next thing she yells is what? Wake up. Oh, she doesn't say wake up. <laughs> she says. And then there's only one more thing that Peter says. The only words that he says are. Mom, please. Please, mom. Good job. You could say it like that. Because maybe Peter is so sleepy that he says it quietly. He goes, Mom, please. It's very, very good. Excellent. Open your book one last time, right? I want you to turn to page 8. Yes, page 8. This is a story that we're going to write together, okay? You don't need to, uh, we're going to write this story together. I want to talk about how we make a story, how we make a paragraph that we do together, okay? Tell me the story of how you wake up, okay? We're all going to share it. I'm going to write a line, you're going to write a line, and we're going to make the story together so that we can look at it together, okay? What is the first thing that you do? I tell you what, we're going to start with Brian. Right? Brian, what's the first thing that you do in the morning? Not Peter. We're not talking about Peter anymore. We're talking about you. What's the first thing that you do in the morning? Wake up. Wake up? Tell me, how do you wake up? What do you do to wake up? I wake up slowly. I like it. Really, really good. He described how he wakes up. <clears throat> I wake up. Up slowly. I'm going to add to this now. I wake up slowly. That's a good topic sentence. A good first sentence. It says how the morning feels. It feels slow. I wake up slowly. I open my eyes. And the light hurts. What's another word for hurts? Can you think of it? A better word. When you touch fire, how does it feel if you touch fire? Hot. Hot? Yeah. I'll say, I'll say the light hurts. John, what happens next? I wake up slowly. I open my eyes and the light hurts. What happens next? What do you do next? Once you open your eyes, John, and the light comes in, what do you do next? You close your eyes? How do you close your eyes? Slowly? Quickly, good. I close my eyes quickly. I close my eyes. Actually, it will say again. I close my eyes again quickly. Duke, what do you think next? So you wake up, you open your eyes, you go, oh, it hurts. You close your eyes quickly. What's the next thing that you do to get out of bed? I throw my blanket. Oh, you, pu you push it off? Yes. Oh, I like that. I like that. Mm. I, let's look at our words. Turn off, wake up, roll over, yawn, turn off, groan, come, flush, get out, lie down, pull off. Pull off. That's great. I pull off my blanket. You know what, Duke? I do the same thing in the morning. When I wake up, the first thing I do is I pull my blanket off. Good. What do you think is next? Lisa. I wake up slowly. I open my eyes and the light hurts. I close my eyes again quickly. I pull off my blanket. What's going to happen next? Look at our words. Get out of. Groan. <clears throat> Help her out, somebody. What happens next? Anybody? Help me. I can open my bed. Perfect. I like it. You use get out of. In fact, I'm going to add to it. I groan. Uh, and 
to get out of my bed. Emily, very good. Get out of my bed. I want Brian. Will you read it for me? Read this for me. What does it say? What does it say? I wake up. I want you to read it. I wake up slowly. I open my eyes in the right turn. I close my eyes again quickly. Good. I pull off my blanket. Perfect. Excellent. What happens next? What happens next? Dude, what do you think? I groan and get out of my bed. Where do you go? When you get up for the first time out of your bed, ooh. look at our vocab words. What do we do? What do we do? Do we sit up? Do we turn off? Do we yell? Probably not. I'll add one. What's this? Good. I love that word, stretch. I do that in the morning too when I yawn. I stretch. I stretch and let out a big yawn. John, what happens next? Where do you go from here? What do you do? First thing, you just stepped out of bed for the first time. Do you go to the kitchen? Do you go to the bathroom? Do you go to the hallway? What are you doing? Good. Um, John, where is your bathroom? Is it next to your room? Far away from your room? Next. Good. Okay. How do you walk to the bathroom? Do you walk quickly like this? No? You walk slowly to the bathroom? Does it look like this? You walk slowly to the bathroom? Do you, ever, do you ever get up to go to the bathroom and do this? <laughs> Walk into the wall? That would be funny. See, little funny things like that when you're writing. I know writing is hard. It's hard to know what to write. I like how you said that, John. I walk slowly to the bathroom, but I hit the wall. <laughs> oh. Okay. I want to show you a trick. In English, I don't know if it's the same in Korean. When someone says something, like, what, what, you should know now. What are the two things that the mother says? Peter. And what else? Wake up. Wake up. And Peter says one thing. Mom, please, whenever you say something in English when you're writing it, you put it in these quotation marks. If you walk into the wall, what do you yell? What do you yell in Korean? What's Korean word? <laughs> really? Good. Ouch. You yell, ouch. If I was going to put ouch here, what do you think I would do? Period, question mark, or exclamation mark? It's loud, right? You don't go, ouch. <laughs> no, it's like when you say wow, you don't go wow. <laughs> you say wow. Right? Same when you say ouch, you yell ouch. And you go like this, you go. <laughs> right? You dance like if you're in pain. What's next? Um, you know what, Emily, can you read it for me? Everything. I wake up slowly. I wake up slowly. I open my eyes and the light starts. I close my eyes and then quickly. I put off my blanket. I run and get out of my bed. I stretch and let out a big yawn. I walk slowly to the bathroom, but I hit the wall. Out. Good. Lisa, what happens next? Die. Die? No, she's going to make it to the bathroom. <laughs> no. Let's use our words. Let's go to our words. Whenever you're writing, whenever you are writing this page, I know it's hard to look at blank paper and think, what am I going to write? Make it fun. Make it fun. What, what happens next? They go to the bathroom. Look at your vocab words. It will tell you what to write. I love this word. What's this word? Flush. Flush. Good. What else? What happens next? I go to the bathroom. What happens after you go to the bathroom? What do you do to the toilet? And I flush, flush the toilet. What happens next? 
was next to me. Well, we only have two minutes. We gotta go. I wash my face. Good, I love it. <coughs> awesome. I wash my face. How does it feel when you wash your face? Cool. Ooh, it feels cool. And does it make you more sleepy or does it wake you up? Yeah, when you take cold water and throw it in your face and go, woo, I'm awake now. It feels cool and wakes me up. Good. We have to finish it. We have to finish it. Ready? Dude, can you read it all for me?